This looks like an ordinary product test for vacuum cleaners. In this case, this guy, Roomba. But it's not staged. My table crashed. But we will see if uh, Millie can clean it up. We call her Millie. So I just press the button. Let's see if, if she can handle it. So she has a, a random algorithm. Uh, normally she doesn't circle around but drives randomly. No! <laughs> What are you doing, Millie? So at first she's not cleaning it, but more distributing it. So this is a real life example of a product test. Also I'm too lazy to clean it up myself. Hmm, those are weird noises and stay there. Hmm. This is going to take a while. <laughs> and you can see her. <laughs> Uh, her footsteps. For timekeeping purposes, see how long it takes. Uh, so far she's at work like five minutes. So far she has evenly distributed all the mess. And a lot of time has passed actually, so I'm getting a bit worried but I will have to do some manual cleaning after it. Hmm. So apparently she's full. No wonder. Emptying error seems to have helped. And it's getting better. But can we get to a stage where my girlfriend won't notice anything when she comes home? This is what she got so far. And this is what's left. Well, we're getting there. And we got one and a half more hours of time to my girlfriend comes home. Although the battery won't let that long. It's getting better. Hmm. Now I just have to wait for the random algorithm to uh -huh. Well, maybe I should remove the thing. So, now let's try again.
You forgot something. Yep, that's one of it. Hey, still not. Okay, she did that fine. Halfway. Now it's time to expand a little bit. Clean the rest up. Now there is actually a spot function. So she drives only in this place. Circling around. So let's try this part. Oh, let's also try this. Wrong direction. Well, that worked. No, this way. Okay, I'm going to call it a session and do the rest of the cleaning myself. Give her some rest. Now to charge. Just put this and should be already charging. Ta-da!